Good afternoon, I'm Rebecca Havens and you're watching BC News. Today, Starbucks released their new drink, Frappula Frappuccino, in honor of Halloween. We went on the scene to see if this drink was a success. The changing of the leaves is not the only indicator that fall is here. It is the return of all things pumpkin at restaurants and stores. Fueled by the success of Starbucks' popular pumpkin spice latte, the seasonal pumpkin flavored trend is bigger than ever. It is designed to get customers in the stores to buy before the promotion ends. That is what Starbucks did today with their new drink, Frappula Frappuccino, that is only offered October 28th through 31st. So tell me what you think about the new Frappula Frappuccino for Halloween. I like it. It has chocolate and um, raspberries, I think, and it's like um, vanilla something cream. Um, it's pretty sweet, but it's pretty good. I feel like I'm tasting blood. I got a pumpkin spice latte with an extra shot of espresso. And why is that your favorite thing to order? Um, I guess just with the fall and like all the leaves changing colors and like pumpkins everywhere. <laughs> it's just a great drink and it tastes really good. Along with Starbucks seasonal drinks, the store brings in on average of 4 million coffee drinks per day, serves 60 million customers per week, and has a daily revenue of $11 billion. Starbucks is very popular among college students, where they can get an extra kick in their day, study, and hang out with friends. On average, students spend $100 on coffee per month. As they get their daily dose of caffeine, is this becoming too much? How often do you get coffee every week? Probably around two to three times a week to keep me going through my classes and get my work done. Every day, and then sometimes multiple times a day. <laughs> Same. On average, how much money do you spend a week on coffee? I would say I spend about $15 to $20 a week. Tell us about your coffee habits and what your favorite coffee drink is at bcnews.com. Thank you for watching today's edition of BC News. I'm Rebecca Havens. Stay basic and have a good evening. Thank you.